Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Adi. In this part, we are going to cover the coding on how to convert XML data into data frame, Pandas data frame. <coughs> so let's get started. I have this uh, Jupyter environment open. Uh, I hope you there is lots of material on the web to get this up and running. So I am not going to spend time on that. If anyone needs uh, help on how I got this screen, please message me. I will provide the steps involved. So in this, I am going to create a new notebook. For that, click on this new button and I will be using Python 3 notebook. So I go with this Python 3. So the first step I am going to do is uh, name the notebook correct so I'm going to so convert XML to data frame this is my notebook name you can name it whatever you want that is your choice so on this here we have the save button so that will save our work and let's just have a quick look on the toolbar here so at the end we have the drop down we got code and mock and I'm not going to use the last two I'll be using code to write the Python code markdown is to uh, decorate our work to explain our work what is going on then I'll be using this plus to insert a cell as you can see from the tooltip in case if I need to remove a cell I can use this button and this is to run the code in a particular cell you can watch some short videos on this there is ample material on the jupyter.org site so let us get started as we seen in our presentation video, there are four steps involved in our coding session. So let us create, set up that uh, steps first. For that, I will be using the markdown. In a markdown, what I am going to do is, if I put a star, uh, sorry, pound sign, that is uh, going to make the text bigger so here let me call this as this is my main title so if I run we got this a title so this is our notebook as a in case if you are sharing or saving this work so it will look better to have a title meaningful title that's why I use this then let us define our steps so in the steps also I'm going to do the markdown first so my step one is going to be the imports so sorry I'm going to put two pound sign imports okay I can edit actually I wanted to make this this is not two this is my one so if you double click so you can change it so this is an opportunity for us so the next step is again going to be our markdown that is going to be our get data ok 
okay in the third step I'm going to define a function so going to create a function for that let's do the markdown again so this is going to be three define function so I click on the run button so the post fourth step is going to be again our markdown this is going to be our testing So we created a notebook and gave it title and we have outlined the steps we are going to take to achieve our goal. So at this point it's good to save our work. Right. So just we defined uh, the steps. So we are going to write code under each step. So I go to the imports area. In the imports, I'm going to write the, just below the import, I want to have a cell where I can do my imports. So to do that, what you have to do is you select the cell, then go to the this plus button. Here it says insert cell below so you click on that so this is going to be from the drop down you can say this is code so to save time what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply paste then i will explain what's going on right so here we are having we are going to use three modules to solve our problem. So the modules we are using is the request module, then the elementary module, and pandas. Uh, by default, uh, I, my experience was you need to <coughs> uh, install them so the request i found xm elementary was there by default so to import uh, to install the request model you simply say pip request then in the same way you can say pip pandas it will install that for you in case if you get any error <clears throat> so we we are importing these three modules so this is our first step so to make sure it is correct just click on this uh, run cell button so if there was any error then i should have got error so uh, it looks uh, sorry i'm making it bigger so it is better for us to follow so we got the three models imported in the next step we are going to get our xml data from web so i selected this cell i wanted that cell to be below so you go on plus click on this plus sign <coughs> so we got uh, the code cell now it is uh, code as you can see in the drop down so again let me copy the code that uh, that is being used <coughs> so here i just define a variable in pandas you don't have to simply give a name and uh, assign a variable this is my web and then simply i send a request to the web to get a uh, data the content i need so so after doing this we can check again so at the end of this step we will have our data we will have our data in xml data variable let's run and see 
cool no error that means we are good up to this point so the next is I am going to create a function to simplify the task in hand so I selected this cell define function and doing this insert cell below so I got the cell ready now I am going to paste my function code So this is the function, uh, this is the most crucial function which does the job what we, we are after. So this function just receives our XML data as parameter as you can see and uh, it uh, uses the element tree to iterate, first we create a array object all records that is we initialize to empty then we enumerate through the <coughs> uh, data in the XML then we create for each uh, root node we create a record and that is being written as data frame so to make sure this function is correct just click on the run button cool we didn't get any error so that means our function is right so in the fourth step already we are in the final step and we got a blank this already so to test our data so at this point we got uh, we imported the models we get got the data already from the web that is the XML data and we have a function <coughs> to get a data frame and finally we are going to call the function so this code I'm just creating a data frame and call our function XML to DF and I pass the data, the XML data. Just click on that. Okay, so good, we are really good. There was no error at all. So now let us examine the data. To examine the data, we have the first thing to look at our data. Uh, let us do check how many rows and columns we got so simply I am going to put this one df dot shape shape means it will give that dimensions of the data that is number of rows and columns if you run that cool we got two two thousand four fifty nine rows and seven columns in our data frame so now let us get a sample of the of this data say 10 rows <coughs> of this data frame so for that we got a command called a df dot head so i'm pasting that command so let us run this cool you see we got uh, it reported seven columns right so one two three four five six seven cool this is the data we got from the XML and using pandas library you can do many more things uh, hope I'll be coming up with some more videos on using pandas so hope you enjoy this video and i will be putting this code on the uh, description of this video so that you can use it without any trouble um, do subscribe to my channel so that you get notification whenever I 
uh, put a video on YouTube. Thanks for your time. Bye.